New York. Is there a problem? Another one? Central's picking up some unusual activity at the New York Museum of Art. Looks like a break-in. It's all stolen artwork, recently recovered from the personal collection of... Deadpool? That Harlequin is an art thief? Uh, no. Red Skull is the art thief. Deadpool is more of a... Kind of like... You really need to see for yourself. Caretaker, are you sitting in with Carol? Oh, no. Not if Deadpool's involved. He cannot be that bad. <laughs> Just wait. Any intel on our museum thief? Let me guess. Captain Mayo in the archives with a candlestick. Hydra Mystic in the warehouse. No candles. Whatever Hydra is looking for, it seems they have yet to find it. Just don't let them find you. You the new guy? Huh? Sorry, the new fully customizable heroically upgradable monster masher. Wisecracking anti-hero. Merc, very occasional hero. Whatever. I'm adaptable. Spin me off, it's a big franchise. Stop talking. Are you here for the statue too? What statue? The one my very mysterious and very scary client from somewhere in very Eastern Europe wants me to steal back from the guy who stole it from him? It's the circle of crime. That one? Well, Jimmy, my frickin' chagas. Yeah, that one. Hands up and pants down, ladies and gents. This is a robbery. I'm sorry, have we met? Aren't you Sloth? No, no, Sylvia. Cindy? Please kill him. Sin, that's it, of course, Sin. Granddaughter of Redhead. I mean Skull. I mean Skull. Whatever. No! We never seem to have much luck with these stealth approaches. I have yet to participate in one that was actually quiet. Quiet is boring. I'm almost never quiet. And things go not terrible for me sometimes. Try not to get wiped out by Hydra flunkies while you're mouthing off. Not dying is actually a key part of my strategy. some for the rest of us. Oh, that was 
something. I saw a move like that once, centuries ago. They cannot possibly match your strength. Leprechauns. I'd love to hear who hired you to steal that artifact if you're feeling chatty, and I know you are. Wait, you aren't the usual lady in my ear. Who is this? A uh, Carol Danvers? Why is that name so familiar? I'm Captain Marvel. Always happy to meet my fans. How invigorating. Ow! That's just uncalled for! Just I like killing bad guys. Sometimes enough is enough. I need to stop taking jobs from mysterious internet strangers. This could have been dangerous. This internet seems But there are so many adorable puppy videos. Not to mention all the not safe for work stuff. What is? Don't even ask, Hunter. as expected, but at least he can fight. Step away from the artifact. Click! Did you just say click? Yes, I did. For emphasis. Now hand over the statue. Fool! Do you know what- uh, Monologue-free zone here. 
It's in my contract. Sorry. Now, respect the click and hand over the... Whoa. Big click energy. I like it. Want to help me kill some Nazis? Hydra aren't Nazis. Ah, potato frittata. What they have outlives their usefulness to me. See? I had your back. Right. Where is Sin? And the statue? Oh. Hmm. The level designer says she went that way. Why betray her own people? Maybe she appreciates a plot twist? <laughs> you first. a mole man thing. Cause you know I'm the biggest mole man fan. Uh-oh. It would seem Hydra and their mistress have escaped from the artifact. Is this like one of those monkey's paw things? I say, mole man, and the universe gives us off-brand vampires? They're vampires, with a Y. It's a whole... <sighs> Don't ask. Wasn't gonna. So, is there some special way to dust these critters? Beat them before they eat you? We're too weak for this fight. your strength. When you need them, technically, aren't these things? No relation, as far as I know. Word of advice, never suggest Blade is like other vampires. Oh, we've met. He did not appreciate my humor. It's about time. <laughs> To you. These vampires are a problem. At least we know how to handle them. Without 
that statue. Not even a sparkly hole can cheer me up. Is this about your very scary client again? When he finds out how royally I botched this mission, or worse, when he finds me, I'll be... Deader, Pool. There it is. You go, new guy. And by that, I still obviously mean the new fully customizable... Come back with us to the Abbey. No. The magical wards will protect you. No. Hell no. You can hide there. Help us track down Sin. No! no. Fight off the vampire infestation. If you insist. Look, Ma, I'm gonna be DLC. Thanks, Hunter. You're literally a lifesaver. I'll just lie low until my job is done. Does your job always require you to steal art? If that's what the client wants, sure. Most of the time, it's making people sleep forever. The forbidden nap, if you will. Mercenary work is a grab bag of awful stuff, and it rules. I see the necessity of your work. You do? Yes. Some forces are too evil to go unchecked. No, no, there's a check involved. Usually signed by someone with deep pockets. Stealing an artifact must be boring by your standards. You call what we did back there boring? <laughs> I'd hate to see what you find exciting. Can you tell me more about the statue? Do I look like some sort of artsy-fartsy hipster to you? I'm wondering why it was important to you. Because looking at it made me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. If your client was paying you to steal the statue, it must be valuable. I'm not some TV game show host with a fabulous mustache. I don't get paid to ask questions. That does not sound very smart. Hey, I'll have you know my IQ is average. So... You will not tell me who you work for? Not unless I want to be on the receiving end of his punishment. Normally, I'd be into that, but he's too scary. Scary how? So scary that I took a magical portal to a stranger's house in order to stay away from him. <sighs> you are welcome to stay at the Abbey for as long as you need. I'm gonna leave a Deadpool-sized impression on the couch. That's where I'm headed, unless you still want my attention. I have questions, if you do not mind. Sounds like somebody hasn't looked me up on the internet. Shoot. How come I have never seen you without the mask? It's physically glued to my face. If I try and remove it, my skin peels off like gum stuck on the bottom of a shoe. That sounds unpleasant. Eh, the mask helps hide what's going on under here. It ain't pretty, and I don't want to make people barf just by looking at me. That's not as fun. Or I can be honest and say there wasn't the budget for it. You pick whichever one sounds better. I find it hard to believe you're ugly. Hey, now, I never called myself ugly. This is to protect the softies who can't handle what peak male hotness looks like. What is your special ability? I have not seen it yet. Just cause I can't shoot lasers or pick up and yeet a bus doesn't mean my power is invisible. Wait, unless I can turn invisible now. Hold on, let me try. Nope, still only got my super regeneration. Regeneration? You are able to heal quickly? My healing factor can basically bring me back from anything. No hand, no body, no prob. My cells are always regenerating. That is incredible. Makes the life of a merc a lot easier when you literally can't die. Sounds good on a business card, too. Can you tell me more about your katanas? Oh, the girls? I'm so glad you asked. They never get any attention. Guns are so impersonal. I like using the old hack-and-slash approach with these puppies. I also use swords. Using them takes much skill and strength. I might not look at Hunter, but I'm a skilled-as-hell swordsman. We should dance sometime. 
With our swords or with each other? Both. Can you tell me about how you got the name Deadpool? My mouth is special, Hunter. I say all kinds of words with it. That's kind of my shtick. I do not understand. We all have mouths. What does it mean? It means I talk a lot. Hence, Merc with a mouth. I crack jokes and break the fourth wall so much that I may as well be the Kool-Aid man. Who were you before becoming Deadpool? <gasps> I was just a normal dude except I had terminal cancer. Then I went through an experiment that was supposed to cure me, but surprise, it didn't. Instead of dying, I got the diagnosis of living forever because of a big oopsie done by bad people who turned Wade Wilson into this guy. Wade Wilson? Oops, that's me. Well, before all that crap. It sounds like you have dealt with a lot, Wade. Oh, don't even think about it. I have a badass superhero name for a reason! Before we came to the Abbey, you said you were going to be DLC. What does that mean? Deadpool living comfortably. But you know what it means. What? What, what? I misspoke. Talk later, Deadpool. Stringing me along? How cruel. So, the team encountered some new breed vampires up close. Your thoughts? As Nico says, I am not a fan. Right there with you. Sin's involvement concerns me. Same. I'm still not clear on why some Hydra forces left with her, and others served as vampire food. Agreed. Hydra is involved with the vampires. It is not yet clear how. Uh, don't worry. I'm gathering all the intel you'll need. Soon enough, we'll kick the new breed back into whatever hell they crawled out of. What do we know about Sin? Apparently, she's a vampire. A vamp classic, not the new breed. That was news to me. Before that, S.H.I.E.L.D. knew her as a decently competent Hydra luminary. Sin always got a ton of leeway because she's Red Skull's grandkid. Red Skull? The yin to Steve's yang. Founded Hydra, fought on the wrong side of World War II, and had a nasty itch for world domination. Do you think Sin could be working for my mother? She and Faustus used to fight like a sack of rats. Whatever her game is, Hydra as a whole doesn't seem to be a part of it. How do classic vampires differ from new breed vampires? These Zoomer vampires are more outgoing. They hunt in packs and don't seem to care if anyone notices them. They have similar weaknesses, sunlight still kills them, but not everything lines up. No need to invite them in, they're happy to smash through the door. Oh, and while they don't turn people into vampires, they can infect classic vampires who then serve as portable hemolisks for the new breed. Thanks, Carol. See ya. Thanks, Carol. See ya. Did you sleep well? Oh, sure. I can pass out just about anywhere. Well, I hope the Abbey starts to feel like home for you soon. You know what they say, home is where the unresolved childhood trauma is. I'm sure you've got plenty of that. Everyone has scars from their youth. I am no different. Being here doesn't cause you to, no, oh, I don't know, dissociate? What is that? When you take a break from reality and shut the brain off, you should try it sometime. No. Despite some unpleasant memories, I am still quite fond of the Abbey. Ooh, someone should really write a case study about you. Don't worry about me, I love weird. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to explore all of the Abbey's nooks and crannies in great detail.
I have been watching you. Like in a secret admirer or creepy kind of way? You are very confident for someone who lacks self-worth. <gasps> At least buy me dinner before you peg me like that. Why are you calling me out? Because it felt right. There's my chaotic little hunter, telling it like it is. I'm serious. You maintain so much confidence, but I do not think it is real. Technically, nothing is real. Some people say we live in a simulation. Spooky. You ever heard the phrase, fake it until you make it? Wait a sec, of course you haven't. Basically, you pretend long enough, and then it sticks. It's the best way to trick other people into thinking you have your crap together. You don't do that? Certainly. I think it is a very human thing to do. Don't forget about the aliens. Well, thank you for your insight. Anytime. I love talking. All I'm saying is that we all have no clue what's going on, and I'm confident about that. That was so fun, I could die right now. Ready for a pounding? I'm gonna need a back rub. Tony and Doctor Strange may think they're the epicenter of our operations, but we all know this is where the real magic happens. Pick a bad guy. Any bad guy. I'm here if you need me. I am impressed by your tactical knowledge. Look at you, sweet talker. Hunter, just in time for the meeting of weirdos. There's you, me, and a unicorn if we can find a third. Hope the rest of your fan club won't mind. What makes me weird? <laughs> I forgot. You aren't as self-aware as I am. You talk like you're an ancient artifact, you're older than the geezers who created us, and you've got some deep-rooted mommy issues. Should I keep going, I charge by the hour. I did not expect to be asked such a question. If there's one thing you can expect from me, it's a train wreck. That's all part of the bit, baby. It sounds... Chaotic? I know. Just thinking about it gives me the tingles. What will the sons think? I live for the drama. Are you not concerned about fitting in? What is this, high school? Are you scared of getting a swirly in the bathroom? I do not know what a swirly is. Oh, don't worry. I'll show you later. Besides, I'm more interested in your answer. Fitting in, yay or nay? I do not care. It is not part of my duty. <laughs> duty. You set yourself up for that one. I am here to be myself, and the sons will respect that. Whoa, did it get hot in here for a second? Woof! 
See, that's the mentality I like. It's giving me could not care less vibes. Listen, all I'm saying is that I'm not the only one who likes your whole shtick, so keep it up. Nico and Magic never lost hope for Wanda, and that turned out great. When are we gonna slay some vamps? We aren't going anywhere. This is a solo job. Uh, you know how boring solo jobbing by yourself is? Come on! No way. You're too distracting. I need to be focused out there. This could be a great bonding experience for us. We could touch stakes. Blade, you should bring Deadpool. Ha! See? Let me go put on my vampire hunting undies. I had to learn to work with you. So should he. But you aren't Deadpool. Don't tell me. You day dead cat wrapped in cabbage? Huh? Huh? What? 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 what is that? That is a hemolisk. Uh, the face not even a shemalisk could love. If that is a face. Because maybe that's it's Okay. Mm, definitely not the face. It's a vampire egg sack, which means now we're on the lookout for... Vampire bacon sack? Huh? Get it? What do we have? A full infestation? If we're lucky. Then I suggest you eliminate the threat before the vampires can get any stronger. On it. Or we pop that sucker like a giant zit. Yeah, no, your idea's great, too. Do what you can down there, Blade. And try not to lose your cool with that merc. Cough! Did you forget I can hear you? That's okay. Probably just a senior moment. I wouldn't poke that hornet's nest if I were you. I'm great with fossils. She probably just needs her daytime meds and a nap. Now listen here. Come get it. Like they just missed their mama. Who's next?
can all see that too, right? It's about... something you just stumbled on out in the open. There must be a major infestation here. Wouldn't it take time to establish? Ordinarily, something's off here. Slowly, the plot thickens! Healing factor will fix me up. You do know I have a healing factor, right? Well done, you two. What the? I'll come with. Or should I just stay? Right. Okay. Good talk. I haven't seen a feeding frenzy in years. Not the vampires I'm used to killing. Aren't you normally death incarnate to them? They aren't fleeing in terror! None of this is normal. These 
new breed vampires don't know my name. Maybe you're slipping since you started moonlighting with the midnight. <laughs> Keep digging that grave. seem to work surprisingly well together. Something's wrong. Something's... changed. No, don't tell me. Don't tell me. I'm gonna go with... New benches? Vampires attacking civilians in plain sight? That's not vampire protocol. Okay... Yeah, no, it's really not. Do you think anyone would notice if I just left you here? They'll know. Okay, okay, you want answers, I'll call my client. Not here. Back home, where we're safe from client bots. Home? You mean my home? The Abbey, which is absolutely 100% not your home? Make the call. Look, it's late in Latveria now. There's that whole time zone thing, and my client is a physician, you know, working those long physician hours. Oh, what? Sweetest guy, but he's a real bear when he's grumpy. 